Let's talk about intrinsic safety. Now, the National Electric Code classifies hazardous locations, and a Class 1 Division 1 is an area where gases and vapors may exist under normal conditions, and a Class 1 Division 2 is an area where flammable gases or vapors may exist under abnormal conditions. You know, this could be at the, in a bilge of a boat or uh, a sewer lift station. Now, this is the uh, fire triangle. You need oxygen, heat, and fuel. We can't control the amount of oxygen or fuel, but we can control the amount of heat that goes into that area. This area here is a safe area, and this over here is your, your hazardous area. And what we want to do is we want to limit the current and voltage so as not to create a spark large enough to ignite the mixture of gases and oxygen over on this side here. So we use this Zener barrier. It has just three components. It's got a, a fuse, usually about 50 milliamp fuse, and then it's got a couple Zener diodes, maybe two, maybe three, just for redundancy. And then a, some kind of resistor to, to limit the current into that area there. Now, in this case, we're using... Uh, 5.1 volt zeners so the power the voltage can't exceed 5 volts and the uh, and we're using a 300 ohm resistor to limit the current and what we're using here is just a, a float switch and this could control a um, you know motor or whatever you need and it, we're just coming through the float back to the PLC and the negative side goes back to the power supply and on this scenario down here we have a 4 to 20 milliamp transducer and the same thing we've got this in this case we have 24 volt DC power supply got a 50 milliamp fuse a couple zeners probably uh, you know 20 uh, 25 volt zeners and then a, a resistor to uh, limit the current in here and in this case what we're doing is we're running a power through here this puts out uh, 4 to 20 milliamps and we come back to a 250 ohm resistor now, if we put 4 milliamps across a 250 ohm resistor, we get 1 volt out. And if we put 20 milliamps across that resistor, we'll get uh, 5 volts out. So we use this 1 to 5 volt signal, and we put that into our PLC to control, uh, you know, whatever we're controlling for our, for our pressure over here. Now, you never want to test between a safe area and a hazardous area. There's contacts over here that'll be in the, in the safe area. And... Uh, you know, you want to you want to put an ohmmeter or any meter across there between the two the two areas, uh, and this may seem like a simple little circuit to to put together, but uh, you need to uh, buy one that has the proper certification for it for the area that you're going to be in. Uh, these units are um, they're usually you know they start at about a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars for per unit, and uh, you're not paying for the components, but you're paying for the engineering and for the uh, the liability insurance. So uh, that's intrinsic safety. You know, be safe and uh, thank you.